Okay. Hi guys, welcome to the fourth moment weekly roundup and this is where you get your weekly dose of local LFA football and as with me as usual is Mr. Andrew Paquino. How's it Andrew? Fine, thanks Shamil. Just uh, the wind is still blowing here in Ooh. Cape Town big time uh, over the last terrible. couple of days. That's bad, 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 bad. bad, bad. bad. You, so sound, you sound better. Uh, slightly better, yeah, my voice is coming back. I just wish my players would do things I could tell them to do on the field <laughs> so I don't have to shout. But otherwise, no, it's good, it's good. Talking about your players, you know, it's uh, always nice to get an insight on um, how you guys are doing, how's the preps going? Perhaps going well. We've yeah. had a couple of friendlies. Um, I think we sort of finalized, finalized our squad already, mm -hmm. uh, getting guys registered now. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to it. We're waiting we're still on the dates. No dates yet. No dates yet uh, okay. for the Nedbank as well as the league. But it should be coming soon. Yeah. And the minute we get that, we'll obviously share it with our viewers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the boys are doing well. My boys are getting fit. <laughs> uh, we get a couple. We're gonna have gym sessions and stuff, and okay. on the field. So yeah, things are going well. But you know we. We're excited. It's the first year back for Hanover Park in the ABC Motsepe. And, yeah. you know, we just want to give a good account of ourselves and we take it as it goes. Yeah, well, yeah, look, yeah, we're looking forward to the ABC Motsepe league starting and also the third division. But, yeah, right now we're talking LFA football. Mm, um, lots of LFA football. Lots of LFA football mm. are happening. I think uh, I'm going to give it a, a start, if you don't mind, Andrew. No problem. Go for it. Okay, so uh, looking at quickly at Cape District, uh, obviously two weeks, no football at Cape District there because of waterlo waterlogged fields. I was there the weekend, and gee, was, yeah, those fields were waterlogged. Mm. Uh, fortunately, there's enough space there for them to maneuver around and use other fields, and that's what they did. So they got, got some games on the way underway uh, this weekend. Matches Saturday, Saturday and Sunday there. So I'll just give some of Sunday's results. Uh, Blue Bells there have been struggling at the bottom of the log. They have beat South in first win, I think, of the season 3 0. No? Well done. Uh, Claywood 2 1 over Stefan and Ottery. That must have been a, a hot game there. Arce Atletico 2 1 against Montague Spurs winning. And then uh, Salt River Blackpool winning Batswood 1 0. And then uh, Southampton uh, losing 4-2 to Greenwood. Good win for Greenwood there. Greenwood also surprisingly struggling at the bottom of the log there, close to the bottom. And then um, some matches on Sunday. Clearwood uh, nil, Southampton nil. And then FC Kefta, our uh, log leaders at the moment, mm -hmm. beating Salt River Blackpool 5-0. That's just some of the results of Saturday. Looking at the log, as we know, it's a tight fight there between FC Kefta and Grossi Park. So uh, currently the logs sit at Kefta, top 43. Points, uh, then Grossi Park 42 points, Southampton in third spot with 36, and Salt River in fourth spot 32. Mm. Now, um, the log shows now with Grossi Park without a loss, but I know for a fact they lost on Sunday 2 0 against Wesley United. Ooh. So uh, that's sort of a, a knock in their game. That campaign. was a shock yeah. result. Yeah, I mm. uh, was there for part of the game. Uh, Wesley United very pumped up, some ex Grossi Park United players. Oh, in there the we team. go, there <laughs> we go, the Derby. Yeah, it's that sort of game. So, um, but yeah, it's uh, Wesley doing well there to get the win for. Yeah, I think every week you and I would look at that log and ask, you know, four or five weeks ago you said Grossi, Grossi Park. Park all the way. I said Kafta, yeah. Kafta yeah. stop. I'll just keep quiet for the next couple of weeks <laughs> and we'll see, how, we'll see how it transpires. And uh, that match that we're all waiting for is taking place on Wednesday tomorrow at uh, William Herbert between FC Kafta and Grossi Park. So Ooh, that's I gonna think I'm going to make a way to get there definitely Ooh, and hopefully well, give well, some well, report on that. Well, we're going to have to give a report on next week. That's. Uh, Cape District. Sure, that's nice. I got Rygate results. Um, thank you for the Rygate LFA for sending it through. Um, the Premier Divisions, uh, Bontieville United 1, Boerkarp 1, Nova National 2, The Goods 4, South End 1, Silver Spurs 2. Very good result for Silver Spurs there. That must have been a top game that. Greenhaven Spurs 4, Heath Athletic 4. Also, just lots of goals there. Oriental Gunners 1, D&G 4. Hazendale 2, Salt River Celtic 1, Junction 1, Connoisseur Spurs 1, and Everton Spurs 1, Jordan, oh, sorry, 3, Jordan Kelly's 1. one. Okay. So things are hotting up there in Rygate LFA. We should hopefully have some logs next week and okay. we can have a look at it. But, you know, um, the way things are looking and looking at the results over the last three or four weeks, Silver Spurs, yeah. you know, Premier Blue, Silver Spurs, and South End are, are battling out there. Okay. And on the other side, you've got DNG and Hazendale. So yeah. things are hotting up in the Rygate right LFA. Uh, some old names there, huh? Silver Spurs, Heath Athletic, formerly from the Roycrans mm. LFA, Greenhaven Spurs. Um, yeah. South End. Yeah, from sure. uh, formerly Metropolitan. And obviously Bontieville United have been around for years and years and years. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, and if you look at the junior section, you've got clubs that even go further back, like Moonlighters. Yeah, okay. So yeah, very nice. And as usual, LFA yeah. football, if you want to go to one venue and see a whole lot of games, you go to the Rygate, mm. Johnson Road. Yeah. Okay, I've got uh, Langa Ndabini log here. Uh, just the log, no results yet. We're trying to get those results for you every week. So top of the log, still Lion City. I think they're going to take this one. They've been there, I think, since we started the mm. top of the log. Lion City, 
uh, 41 points. Power is the second spot, 37. Citizen uh, in third spot with 36 points. And Flamingo FC in fourth spot with 33 points. So uh, Lion City looking like securing their top spot there. Heading to the playoffs. Sure, the playoffs are going to get very interesting the way these logs are looking. Eh? Yeah. Sure. Cape Town Tigerberg this weekend. Um, there were no league fixtures. Uh, it was Cup semi final day, uh, hosted at Table View in the Premier Division. Uh, first Cup semi final was between Balval City and Vasco da Gama. Vasco da Gama winning 2 1. It was mm. a tight affair. I watched the game. Um, you know, Vasco built up a two goal lead. Balval came back yeah. and lost 10 minutes. They were throwing the kitchen sink and everything. <laughs> but Vasco just had that little bit more extra quality and, you know, held mm. out for the 2 1 win. Second semi-finals between Weinberg St. John's and Hanover Park. I was a spectator in that game. Uh, very enjoyable game. Weinberg took an early lead and um, Hanover Park dictated from about, I would say, halfway through the first half onwards. Just couldn't score. Uh, we had quite a few opportunities. Um, but yeah, but the Weinberg defence held firm. I mean, okay. Chad Robertson did very well at centre-back there, mm -hmm. keeping the guys at bay. Ryan Herman, very good. Uh, Lance, the keeper, didn't have much, many he saves to make, it. even though... Yeah. He, HP created opportunities, we didn't test him too much. Okay. But it was a very nice game. So Weinberg versus Vasco da Gama in the final should be a great final. I think it's the first week of October, October. at Wittesach. I yeah. think so, yeah. Okay. Um, let's go to Northern's LFA. Northern's LFA got some results and lost. Oh, that's nice. We haven't had Northern's for a while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bellevue United winning 2 1 against uh, United. Eastern Row, okay, that match didn't take place. Clive Fontaine City uh, winning Matros Fontaine 4 2. And then also to saw a post on Matros Fontaine, the under-14s winning the league there, so congrats to Matros under-14s mm. then. Ravens meet, winning Blue Down Spurs 2-1, and Riverside Rangers beating Belhar Spurs 2-1. That's the senior setup, and then in the log, we've got Eastern Rovers, uh, top of the log, 37 points. Valhalla United, second spot, 35 points, and Belleville United, third spot, with 34 points. That's in Northerns. Eastern Rovers, uh, slight lead. But uh, I suppose anything can happen there. No, they got a two-point lead. They've got a game in hand. Mm. Um, if they win their game in hand, they'll be uh, five points clear. Also, if you look at their defensive record, they're only 16 uh, sure. goals against, 36-4. So, yeah. It looks like one of the leagues where there are very few goals scored. Eh? Very yeah. tight to tight, that. Tight, yeah, yeah. Very tight, yeah. yeah. Cool. Let's move on to the ladies. I, th I think the ladies logs over the last weekend, you know, there were some double hitters. Yeah. And I think we got some major changes on the logs. You know, our invincible team we always talk about every week. <laughs> Um, there have been some goals. changes, yeah, Invincible, Cravenby. Um, obviously, they're in the Coke Cup. We'll talk about the Coke later, um, the last eight. But let's go through the double header results. Uh, Rygate Ladies won, UWC won. That's a good result for, for Rygate. And a very good result. Yeah. Mighty Ladies, no Goal Hunters, nine. We'll okay. get to Goal Hunters a bit later. Nine will win for Goal Hunters. New Stars, no CPUT, two. Invincible, Cravenby. The big hitters, two. Hotspurs won. Aha. Good result for Hotspurs there, keeping them down. Coach uh, Yasin there, doing good work as usual. Great. I mean, 2-1, sure. Yeah. Must have been tight. Real Brazilians 3, Winnie's Ladies 4, Manenberg Ladies 0, Green Lovers 7. And then the next match week, we got Strand Kazi Queens, the Tongue Twister team 4, Real Brazilians 0, UWC 15, New Stars 0, Winnie's Ladies 2, Mighty Ladies 3, CPUT 8, Mannenberg Ladies 0. Mm. And then the result, Goal Hunters 3, Invincible Craven B1. The unbeaten record has now gone. But Goal Hunters are still unbeaten. Wow. Green Lovers 0, Hotspurs 6. Mm. So those results have made a major change on the log. Invincible Craven B on 41 points after 16 games, still with a positive goal difference of 124. Mm -hmm. Goal Hunters in second on 37 points with 15 games, so they're four points behind with a game in hand. But the Dark Horses, CPUT, 14 games played, 34 points. Mm. So they win the two games in hand, they'll be on 41 points behind Invincible Craven B. Mm. So those top three, I think, over the next couple of weeks will be very good to watch. The Regional Women's League is hotting up. Yeah. And, um, you know, the, the scary thing is I looked at the fixtures, um, and Invincible Craven B still got to play CPUT, CPUT <laughs> still got to play Goal Hunters, so yeah. anything can change. Yeah. And then also, uh, basically, it's up to Invincible, and they've lost now, and uh, the pressure's on them not to lose again. Correct. I think Goal Hunters, you know, being unbeaten, and I think beating them, I think will give them the confidence, yeah. you know, to maybe push on. But they're, they're going to need Invincible Cranberry to drop points to for lose, them to win yeah. the league, yeah. Yeah. Okay, go, I've got some uh, South Peninsula results as usual here. Yeah? Uh, thanks to the guys at South Peninsula. The Cape Town Military winning King David United 2-1. 
Rainbow Chiefs losing to Lavender Hill, 6 0. You know, Lavender Hill's our uh, sort of normally top of the log there. We'll mm. see how they, where they are now. Square Hill United 5, Harvest Academy 0. No. Uh, Super Lucky Stars 0. No. And Wanderers 10. Sure. Young Legends 3 and Aerial Spurs 5. That's some of the results over the weekend. And looking at the log, Wanderers top of the log, 49 points. Lavender Hill FC second spot, 48 points. And Oasis in third spot worth 45 points. So that league also, every week we talk about that league. Mm. Uh, tight there between Lavender Hill and Wanderers 11. So, um, and they're yeah. still going to play each other. I'm not too actually yeah, sure. Yeah, they do. do they? They're still going to play each other. So that's okay. uh, it's going to be uh, interesting. Five games to go. Yeah. It's very interesting that league okay. and like we said you know well over the next couple of weeks we'll sort of have an idea of the teams yeah. going to the playoffs yeah. and you know there are a lot of good teams out there Definitely. a lot of good teams i think we want to be at the playoffs this year that's for sure uh, we're gonna have to make a plan right. Okay. right the regional women's development league so that's the league just below the regional mm. women's league um just to give you the results from the weekend um Hederfeld female football academy 12 manpower one east end united nine mighty ladies nil burnley two rockefellers five Blue Combos Ladies 2, Rygate Ladies 1, Believers 5, United 0, Invincible Cravenby, the other team 14, Athlone Atletico 0, Benz FC 1, Santos 3, Hellenic 4, Lavender Hill 2, AV United 0, Vasco da Gama 7, and City Swallows 1, New Age 1. And the log at the moment, I think last week when I, when I highlighted this, Hellenic were we're top of the log, they're still top of the log after 10 games, they're on 30 points. Rockefellers have climbed up, they're on 27 points, 3 points behind, both all on the same games. And City Swallows on 23 points. Okay. So that league is also hotting up there, the ladies. And you know, like I said, if you're ever, if you're ever around and want to watch a women's football game, especially in the RWL or the R RWDL, you know, you see lots of goals, you can see it's, it's exciting, it's end-to-end. -end. And I mean, I enjoyed watching a couple of Coke games a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, with the ladies. Oh, it's end-to-end, -end, eh? Yeah. The ladies, yo, they're attacking <laughs> football. There's no, there's no defensive strategy there. <laughs> right, well, you got, uh, we've got Coke next, eh? Yes, I do. Oh. Um, and, I, you know, I think the most important thing we also need to highlight here is that the Coke Cup this weekend is going to be all the two different two venues. venues. yeah. But before we get to the Coke, I thought we'd let's do, you know, we haven't done the Goldberg Cup yet. Oh, the Dennis Goldberg. Uh, uh, Dennis yeah. Goldberg Cup. Um, and that is down. Those are all the league winners from the different LFAs that play in there. Um, we're now down to the quarterfinals that were played over the weekend. I'll just go through the results quickly. And for under 13s, we had Cape Town Spurs 7, Jamestown 1. Uh, African Tribes beat, Man sorry, Maklangu Stars beat African Tribes 7 6 on penalties. Uh, Cape Town Swallows 1. Masi Tandani 4, Blue Combos United Brothers 3, Sicalo Brothers 0, that must have been the Brothers Derby. <laughs> uh, that's the under 13s. In under 15s, we have Cape Town Spurs 2, Bayview 0, Stellenbosch uh, losing to Cape Town Swallows 5-4 wow, okay. um, on penalties. Uh, Everton 2, Electric City United 1, African Tribes 0, Super Eagles 2. Then we have the under 16 goals, uh, Cape Town Roses 2, Manpower Ladies 0. Uh, Cape Town Swallows got a buy in their quarterfinal. Goal Hunters 7, Norway Parks Magic 0. And Dangerous Heroes 5, Invincible Craven Me 2. That was under 16, ladies. Now we get to the boys under 17s. That's always a competitive yeah. under 17s, under 19s. Rackersdal losing 5 4 to Juventus on penalties. Okay. And that's Juventus from Philippi, not Juventus from Mitchell's Plain. Okay. Uh, Stellenbosch versus Milano. That game was postponed. Cape Town Spurs 1, Milano Academy 0. Rebels 1. Junior Pirates, no. And then the under-19s, we call them the Hurt Manera of the Goldberg Cup. Lanso beating Tramway 7-6. Lanso United from Hanover Park, LFA. Cape Town City 7, Steenberg United, no. Zizwe, no. Ulana Academy 2. And FC Porto beating DNG 5-4 on penalties. Okay. I just want to touch on Lanso. Lanso United is a club um, in the Hanover Park, LFA. For those of you who've been around quite a while, it was a club back in the day, it used to be one of the top clubs in Hanover Park okay. uh, with the Premier Uniteds, mm. with the Hanover Park Football Club, with the Malchesters. 
And, and no, it's been revived. Um, you know, Nathan Duplessis is doing an excellent job with the juniors. They train at our field, so I see quite a lot of what's happening oh, yeah. there. Yeah. And, you know, he's, he's put his heart and soul into reviving the club. It's unbelievable to see the talent that he's got there. And for them to reach the semi final of the Goldberg Cup is, is unbelievable. Yeah. It's very big. You know, and they're beating Tramway, who's quite an established under 19 team mm. in the Cape Town Tigerberg. Yeah. You know, Tramway is one of the oldest clubs in South Africa as well, just to give you guys a bit of history. Yeah. So for those two clubs to be playing each other and for Lancer to beat them, I think it's quite a, it's a great yeah. achievement. And congrats to Nathan mm. and the club. And yeah, wish them all the best in the semi finals. Going forward, yeah. Cool. Let's get to the Coke. Oh, do we have to? Yes, we have to. It's a big weekend. It's Coke Cup. You know, everybody's been waiting. You know, they've been through about 15 minutes of the show and they're saying, when are you talking about the Coke? Well, for those of you who don't know, you'll find out now that Coke is being held at two venues, yeah. at Kaya Licha uh, and at Danoon. Yes. So all the teams that are playing at each venue will be playing the team who wins in, in their corresponding fixture in the different categories um, in the semifinals, which will be held at Westridge. So, you know, in the under-18s, sure, Tough, eh? Mm. Under 18 section, whew, at Kailicha. I'll give you the starting times for those of you who would like to go. Um, you know, under 18s are kicking off at 11 o'clock at Kailicha Sports Complex. And the first under 18 game is DNG versus Grassy Park. Ooh. Big game. Yeah. Big game. Yeah. Uh, Grassy oh, Park, you know, got a big shock beating Cape Town Cape Spurs in the Spurs, last yeah. round. Yeah. DNG, ooh. That's also two uh, tough nut to crack well it. known personalities there uh, with. Uh, uh, Mr. Zahir from Grossi Park and Mr. Fadl Hassan from DNG. So I wonder if they're going to be at the field. Uh, I'm sure. Just keep, make sure you're not, not standing next to each other. I'm sure. <laughs> the, other, the other game at the venue will be Cape Town City, who will be playing against Olana Academy. Another big game. Yeah, Olana, sure. Yeah. I mean, you've just seen now from the, from the Goldberg Cup, Olana, normally a very good team, yeah. um, produce lots of talent. Um, I'm staying with Kyle each other. What I'll do is I'll give the games on at each venue so it makes it easier for everybody. In the ladies section, it's going to be Burnley against UCT. Nice game. Yeah. UCT, good team. Tough game, uh, Burnley doing very well as well. And then um, there's still a playoff game that must happen uh, between Santos and Kampfa Ladies. Okay. And the winner of that game will play Invincible Cravenby. Um, so that's going to also be an exciting game. Yeah. And then we hit the seniors at Kyle Echa. Two big games at Kailicha on the weekend on Sunday. Seaside Spurs, the giant killers from the previous round after beating <laughs> Hanover Park. <laughs> and they get to play another giant killer, Rebels, who beat Saxon Rovers. Okay. Yeah. Big game. Rebels, nice yeah. team. And Seaside as well. Listen, I have a first-hand experience of Seaside. <laughs> um, very nice team. I think um, it's going to be a great game. If you want to get out there, that's going to be a good game to watch. Is that the only senior game in Kailicha? No, no, no. We get to the big one. It's yeah. DNG Orient from Rygate LFA okay. playing against Clover. Another big game. I think both teams have progressed. Um, DNG beat Weinberg in the previous round. Yeah. Um, that was a good result. And I think both, that's going to be, you know, all quarterfinals are going to be tight this yeah. weekend. I don't see anybody that I could say yeah, is guaranteed to make the semifinals. And, now, what a, and what an achievement if uh, DNG Orient under 18 and senior actually make it through to the semifinal. It'll be an achievement to make it to the final. Yeah, well, that's we never know. I think the final was the last time uh, I think they got to the quarterfinal or semis under 18 and the. Yeah, I think it was semifinals last year. Uh, uh, last time, yeah. yeah. And now we get to the noon where the other quarterfinals are taking place. Uh, let's start with the under 18s. Sorry, I'll take my glasses off for this one. Uh, Umphalozi are playing against Ubuntu. That's at 11 o'clock. And the other corresponding under 18 fixture is Woodlands, who are playing Valhalla United, which yeah. will be a good game. I uh, watched Woodlands last time, very nice team. And then the ladies, uh, big games there. Shosha Loza are playing against Hotspurs ladies. Ooh, that's going to be a tough game. That's a tough game. Yeah. And then Haderfeld Female Football Academy, they're going to be up against Dangerous Heroes, another tough game. A yeah. uh, ladies section is hotting up. I think I can for tell me you. the tough game there Ooh. is that Hotspurs and Shosha Loza game. Oh, that's going to be definitely. a nice game. Yeah, definitely. And then we get to the seniors, the last two quarterfinals. The match of the round, I'll call it, because I know I've, I know both teams intimately, and we actually yeah. had a friendly against Diodora uh, yesterday. Uh, Rechersdal versus Diodora, mm. big game. Diodora beat Kafta the previous round. Uh, Rechersdal, you know, top team beat Vasco. Yeah. They're always Coke Cup specialists. I mean, I mean, I think in the last three years, I think the minimum they've reached is a semi-final. Semi-final. Yeah. Uh, last time they lost in the final to Dynamos. I think um, the guys at, at Rechersdal are going out for revenge and trying to get their hands on the trophy. Diodora, we played against them. Nice team. Very experienced. Mm. Um, experienced in key areas within the team. And I think whoever wins that, uh, that game will um, progress to the semi-finals. It'll be a tough nut to crack to stop them getting yeah. to the final. Um, the other quarter-final there is between Beacon Spurs 
who yeah, from Mitchell's beat, plane, yeah. who who've also been giant killers. Yeah. Uh, they beat Juventus the previous round, I think. And then no, they, no, that was Bishop Lavers. Sorry, Bishop, Bishop Lavers. Sorry, they played Bishop Lavers. Yeah, they, yeah, that's going to be a tough game because you have both teams sort of not unknown, but sort of. Um, no one would have expected them mm. there, but uh, tough, 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 proper community club sort of uh, versus community club, which is going to be great to so see. The, so the Bishop Labour supporters yeah. I know will be out in force. They were out in force the last time at, yeah, at Roy Crowns yeah. and yes. Beacon Spurs will have their followers as well. Definitely. So the Coke Cup, like we always say, you know, it's going to be entertaining. Yeah. Um, it's going to be, you've got two different venues, pick one. It's going to be yeah. tough to pick one with all the games. Yeah. I think if you're neutral, you know, I would, I would, I would go to the noon. I think uh, the noon was where you're going to see very good games. If you want to be there the whole day, you're going to have the ladies fixture. We yeah. spoke about the Shosha Loza game and the Rechesdal, Rechesdal versus Diodora. I think is yeah. the top clash there. Yeah. And if you want to go to Kailicha, you know, I'd highly recommend the the D and G game. And if it's the under 18 game, definitely look at the D and G versus Grassy, Grassy Park. Park yeah, if you get there early, 11 o'clock to Kailicha, maybe you can go there and still go catch the Rechesdal game at the noon. A little bit of petrol, it's but hard hey. <laughs> But yeah, if you uh, if you want to do it, that will be great. You've got anything else there? I think that's that's sort of it for us. I think that was it for us. Eh? Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, no news on third division yet. No, I don't nothing. think it's very quiet. I think they're only starting the week after Coke. Yeah, is what I got told with the net bank. I think on the third division, clubs still finding trying to find themselves. We still got clubs for sale. We sure. still got inquiries for sales and so on. Uh, ABC Mosepe, obviously, we're waiting on the dates. I think once we have all those type of things confirmed, we can chat about that. Uh, definitely looking forward to the ABC Mutsepe season, um, especially having the mm. inside info here on the ABC Mutsepe, the two streams. And then obviously very excited, always as usual, fourth moment, always covering the third division. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can do some good things this year for, mm. for that. Um, if there's nothing else from your side, before uh, we go, we're going to say thanks to Loro Sport for uh, helping us put out the content. And um, yeah, always thanking them to su for supporting us. And be sure any kit or anything like that, go out and support them. Remember, they're putting money back into football like with initiatives like this. So yeah, be, uh, be sure to support them out in Maitland. Um, if there's nothing else from my side, we'll see you next time, Andrew. Yeah, nothing from my side. Cheers. And please um, go and watch the Coke this weekend. It'll be, yeah. it'll be exciting games. And I think... Um, you know, when we sit here next week, we'll do a, a rerun of everything and go yeah. through the Coke in more detail. But um, I'm sure it's going to be exciting games exciting, this weekend. Yeah, yeah. So cheers. And uh, yeah, and for you guys enjoying your LFA football, make, be sure and don't be shy to share whatever's happening at your LFAs. Mm. Until next time. Cheers. Bye-bye. Cheers.